everybody, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 with a, another car build. Today, we have the one, the only, Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR. Arguably one of the most famous race cars to have ever existed. It gave Sterling Moss, oh God, I want to say it was the Pan America Rally Championship. I think it was that. Well, not the rally, the rally win. It was a very long rally. Point is, it's very legendary and very expensive. Eight million credits. Luckily, I got it for free on Wheelspin, so I thought, might as well take it around the course. Now, this is going to be interesting. Also, I don't know if my controller batteries will survive. I just got a memo saying my controller batteries are running out. I know, I know, it ruins the gorgeous lines of the mighty Mercedes, but I want the downforce. Because this thing is going to be insane. We only want all-wheel drive. It is just over a ton. That is how light this vehicle is. It is just over 2,000 pounds. Two three fives on the front are not very good. Two four fives on the rear are not very good either. So we shall help that with a bit of widening. That gives us a, a equivalent... Doesn't give us more traction, but it gives us better handling. So we're going to go for that. We'll go for you, and do anything, we'll go for you, doesn't do anything while we're here. Brakes. We want you. That drops us down pretty much to exactly 2,000 pounds. We want some rally springs. We want all of these parts. We are at exactly two tons on the spot right now. That's the first I've had. Now, the question is, I want a roll cage, obviously. Adds a whopping 29 pounds. You know what? I'm going to go for you. I'm going to go for you. It is going to be a very light car, which can, which is a bit concerning. I'm a little concerned by the lightness of it. I know I, we might have to swap the engine. I'm gonna try not to, because I like to keep the standard engine in this car, because it is decent. However, um, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. I can't turbocharge it, and I can only get a few hundred horsepower out of it. Specifically, 430 horsepower. I mean, for if it was S1850, it would be great, but it isn't. So we have to go with the uh, Mercedes 6.2 liter V8, which is 100 pounds lighter. We're going to keep it naturally aspirated in the spirit. I think this is the Mercedes 300 engine. The Mercedes um, 300 S uh, SLS, the SLS thingy. Yeah, I think it's that. I really don't want to lay in it any more than it already is. Because this is getting a bit mental. We're up to 620. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 now we're going to be a little finicky, are we? Now we're going to be a little finicky? Um, can I add weight? <laughs> I can. I'm going to go from the adding weight strategy. Um, and there we go. Wow. Um, okay. This. It is 634 horsepower, 542 torque, weighs less than 2,000 pounds. I think it is the lightest vehicle we've ever had around here. And we're going to have to try and control it on a very muddy stage with small, small tires. I don't think this will work, but I'm going to give it a go. The Mercedes Benz 300. I have to try and go faster than the Dodge Viper ACR with a 130, uh, 130 to 231. Uh, yeah, I've got my number because I'm very strict. But it has, but it weighs a ton and a bit less. It is pretty much an entire Viper's weight lighter than the actual Viper. <laughs> that is insane. And it has 640 horsepower. Who knows? I'm not even going to 
We're in third. <laughs> so on a run with a with no control or vibration, running wide, nearly missing a few checkpoints, I managed to get a third place on my first attempt with the Mercedes. Maybe there's some hope for this car after all. I will be honest, I did not expect the Mercedes on that run to be any sort of fast. Then again, I also thought that about the Viper on his first run. The Viper on his first run was fast, two seconds fast, and then the car was fast. There we go. I'm just hoping we can actually improve on the uh, 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 Viper. But there we go. I think this has a chance of beating the Mazda. I think it does. Whether or not it beating the Viper, I'm not so sure. I don't think it has the handling that has the traction to beat that Viper. The Viper had perfect handling, perfect traction. Winning streak this week, boys. We had the Viper on Wednesday, setting and setting the first time to be faster than the Mazda, and now we have the Mercedes setting a heck of a lap, being the first vehicle under. I think that's the first vehicle under three minutes. That's the first. That's the first vehicle under under two under two minutes thirty. That is the first vehicle under two minutes thirty. We never had that before. I am astounded. <laughs> that is ridiculously fast. Now there were a few areas of improvement. Can we utilize them? Okay. Turns out a car from 1955 is faster than a car that is 60 years at senior, 61 to be exact. What a thought, what could be the world of work? The only human being in the world with a classic V8 with a massive V8 swap underneath the hood has a 
chance of beating a a race car turned rally car in the form of a Dodge Viper ACR around the mountain rally stage. No other game in the world has to do that. This is one of the times, man, really. Um, Be close. Just two tenths of a second. It's close. It is close, but no cigar. If I didn't bloody, if I didn't get too much oversteer, if I didn't run wide, those two corners cost me that two tenths of a second. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, we still have a car in the 229. But, yeah, yeah, slightly disappointed on that run, I will be honest. Despite my third run not being the fastest, it is the second run that is the fastest, well, the entire series so far, coming in the first place, just edging it in. To the 229 to 229.9 will be the fastest run up the hill we've ever had. The Viper's reign at the top was short lived. The Mercedes has set one heck of a benchmark time. I told I said the Vipers may never be beaten based on how difficult it was to beat the Mazda. But the Mercedes looked at me and said what if I just beat it? What if I just win? Is that, is that, a, th is that a thing I can do? So it did it. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't determine what is the reason for it winning. It doesn't have as much grip. It has less power. Sure, it's a lot lighter. But it has smaller tires. It's got more wheel spin. It, I mean... On a very handling-based track, this should have been a nightmare. 
It shouldn't have been remotely usable. And somehow, it just about succeeded. And was able to be driv driven enough that I could get a good lap time out of it. I did not expect that in a million years. I was expecting maybe a top five from this car. Maybe. But I wasn't expecting it to take the lead. But there you go. That is going to be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 4 back with more.